On March 17, 2011, a jurga was held in Darakel to resolve a dispute over a chromite mine. If there is a feud getting out of hand, Jirga will convene and everyone has a chance to speak. It really is a democracy. And that is a mechanism to make sure that there is stability in society. They held the jirga in an open space in a bus depot in broad daylight. Tribal elders informed the Pakistani military. Brigadier Dogar was in command of the brigade on the border. So he is a key commander. The brigadier knew about the jirga 10 days in advance. His own army camp was 10 kilometers from the site of the jirga. So this was an open public event that pretty much everyone in the community and surrounding area knew about. So the jirga begins in the morning at about 10 o'clock and after about 20 minutes or so. There's smoke and debris and chaos. It was a huge explosion. Uh, so people in the shop in the nearby area, they rushed to the place. <laughs> ولی ټول مشان په کې شهیدان شوي دي نو زه ډیر خفه شوم ځکه چې زمونږ پلار چې و نو هغه زمونږ د قبیلې مشر و زمونږ د امدن زریه و ټول زمونږ ډیپنډ چې و نو زمونږ په پلار باندې و دا یې موږ لکه ګوشه یې موږ وکتل سره په او دا چې موږ وکتل دا یې بالکل ختم و هیڅ څه پېژندګلي نه شوله مخ یې خر و په ټول وجود لوس پرې هر څه شی ختم وي دا سوې وي بالکل The loss of 40 leaders on a single day is devastating for that community. It's devastating in terms of leadership. It's devastating in terms of the moral compass. And it's devastating in economic terms as well. Na chunke da zamung da para yu der nuksan wo. Na kabo pa jargi ke kena sto da khalko masali ba yhal kawale. 
د خلکو د ترقی او د خوشحالۍ د پاره به کارونه کول ځکه چې هغه د خپل علاقه یو الیکټ کونسلر و This drone strike is coming at the end of a series of drone strikes. It's feeding into the sense of no one is safe, no way is safe, nothing is safe. Even a jirga, the most cherished, the most treasured institution of the tribal areas. So we cannot even sit down and resolve an issue. That is not safe anymore. इस मिश्र पर वज़ी बंदे जलगाना शिकलाई सारा पर वज़ी दादर नुस्ताई भी लड़ाई मिश्र नशी सारा कलाई जका ची मिश्र चुबीस गेम टेड रूना रूना में शाग गर्जी मिश्र तापुसा That impact has really affected the population and their basic sense of security and basic sense of living in that area. Oh, बाकी दे मिश्र वंदिन खो इस दे तबाये सारा में खो मख्ताई लगा दे मिश्र चे सिमराई दारी दे आउ खात मिश्र बने Thank you very much and good afternoon everyone. Thank you for being here today. Three months after 42 civilians died, John Brennan stood up and said, Nearly for the past year, there hasn't been a single collateral death because of the exceptional proficiency, precision of the capabilities that we've been able to develop. High level authorities tell the American public that there have been no civilian casualties. They were presumably using this notion that any male of a certain age, roughly between 14 and 60, who is killed is automatically counted as a combatant. The Vietnam body count as a metric was flawed. It did not really give you a measure of how successful you were being. In fact, it led you astray in assessing that. And the drone strikes are the same way. They're the wrong metric. Tell me how we're winning if every time we kill one, we create 10. The strikes at Datakel caused a significant negative reaction by Pakistani authorities and by the Pakistani people. Anti-American sentiment in Pakistan reached greater heights. That very large drone strike really upended U.S.-Pakistani relations. I was a military guy for 25 years. I've done seven wars. I'm not uh, about being nice to the enemy. But the blowback and the aspect of political destabilization, those things ultimately do make us less safe. 